This is AP News Minute. Senate Democrats are expected to clear a procedural hurdle today in their latest bid to pass an extension of jobless benefits. Democrats are expected to be able to break a GOP filibuster right after West Virginia Senator Hart Goodwin is sworn into office. The benefits for about two and a half million people expired at the end of May. The Senate Judiciary Committee will vote today on the nomination of Elena Kagan to the Supreme Court. She's expected to win the support of the committee. The full Senate is expected to vote on Kagan's nomination later this summer. If confirmed, she will become the nation's 112th justice. Former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich may finally take the stand today at his corruption trial. It will all depend on how quickly prosecutors finish cross-examining his brother, who was also charged. Both Blagojevich brothers have denied any wrongdoing. Lindsay Lowen is due back in court today to surrender for a 90-day jail sentence, but her sentence is likely to be whittled down by overcrowding and other credits. It's expected that Lowen will spend no more than 90 minutes in jail. She got the 90-day sentence for violating probation by missing alcohol education classes. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press with AP News Minute.